Oh, right, class, now settle down, please. Quiet. Now, the first thing we have to do before we do anything else is to call the register. So oh, sorry. Right? Ah, that's quite all right. I expect you'll uh, have a bit of difficulty finding your way round at first. Things will seem rather strange. Yes, yeah, uh, very strange. Yes. Must be yeah. quite a change coming from one of the underdeveloped countries to our more advanced way of life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Still, your people are doing remarkably well. Did, did you fly here? Fly? <laughs> How do you mean, Buana? <laughs> oh, fly in a big iron bird. <laughs> quite a change from riding an elephant. <laughs> Unless you came by Jumbo. <laughs> yes. English joke. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> well, perhaps you'd better sit down. Right? Right, I'm going to call out your names and will you please answer present? Present. <laughs> yes, Sally, but wait until I've called your name out. Yeah? Sorry, please. Ranjit Singh? Present and correct, please. <laughs> Giovanni Cupello? Ah, si, professori. No, Giovanni, not professori. No, professori? No, you should address me as sir. Sir? Yes. Now I understand. <laughs> you have been to get knotted. <laughs> Come again? Well, to become a sir, you got knotted by the queen. <laughs> So the word is knighted, and I'm not that kind of sir. Maximilian Papandrios. Maximilian Papandrios. Mr. Brown is speaking to you. Is he? <laughs> Sorry. You want something? Yeah. Are you here or not? <laughs> well, sure, I'm here. Taro Nagazumi. Arsol. Present. Anna Schmidt. Yeah, present. Suli Chung. Present. Ali Nadim. Gift. <laughs> Gift. I'm surprising you, no? <laughs> Each day, I'm learning a new English word. And I'm finding that gift is another word for present. <laughs> Very ingenious. Thank you very much. Danielle Favre? Present. And I am all here. Oh. <laughs> See that? Uh, Jamila Ranja? Ranji? Oh. Gordon Hefni. <laughs> yes, you're here. And Juan Cervantes? Por favor. Present. Por favor. You're here. Present. <laughs> I better take down your particulars, otherwise I may get into hot water. Oh, oh. you are going to have a hard bath? <laughs> no, Ali, it's just another way of saying I may get into trouble. Oh, dear, you have been committing some grievous misdemeanor. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. There's an inspector from the local education authority coming round. Yeah, the bigger boss. Yes, oh. I suppose you could say that, oh. but from my experience, they're usually interfering old fogies. <laughs> You don't like them? Not particularly. Frankly, they're quite useless and about as outdated as their teaching methods. I mean, what's the point of learning past participles, cognate objects or subordinate clauses? It's far more useful to try to teach a foreign student how to uh, order a meal or find accommodation. You appear to have some rather unique ideas. Oh, I suppose I have. You know, you speak English fairly well. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> now, what is your name? Roger Kenyon. Roger Kenyon. Ah, Miss Courtney, I'm just uh, completing the register and getting the details of our new student before that inspector chappy pokes his nose in. Mr. Brown. I shan't be a moment, Miss Courtney. What is your job? Inspector. Oh. What, local transport? <laughs> local education authority. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought he was the new student. The new student is a female. Is she? Well, you didn't tell me that. Oh, my apologies, Mr. Kenyon, and I do assure you that Mr. Brown will be severely dealt with. <laughs> I can't remember when I last enjoyed myself so much. I beg your pardon? Enjoyed yourself? You know, Miss Courtney, your Mr. Brown is a remarkable man. I am? He is? Yes. His teaching methods may be somewhat revolutionary, but they appear to work. I have always encouraged my staff to be forward-thinking. <laughs> 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 
I'll pass on your comments to the authority. Perhaps they revise their textbooks. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must put in an appearance at the other classes. Oh, well, uh, keep up the good work, Mr. Brown. And thank you very much for the coffee. <laughs> I come with you, Mr. Kenyon. Blimey, you are dropping a clinker. <laughs> you mean clanger. Yes, please. Yes, well. All right, let's continue with our lesson. Uh, get out your textbooks. I'm going to give you all a few exercises. Uh, scusi, professore, sir. I can't do any exercises. Why not? I've got a bad back. <laughs> Excuse me, I was looking for him. Ah, at last. A pity you didn't arrive half an hour earlier. Why? You might have saved me a great deal of embarrassment with a certain African gentleman. Oh. Yes, he was a school's inspector, but I mistook him for you. You thought a gentleman was me? <laughs> yeah. The silly fool tried to pretend he was a student and sit at the back to try to catch me up, but I saw through him. I gather you think he was a bit stupid. Oh, definitely. Thick as a brush. What's his name, Mr. Kenyon? Yes. Do you know him? Uh, I should do. I've come to collect him. Ah. I'm his wife. <laughs> oh, blimey, yes! You have dropped another clinker! Ah.